Welcome back to the History Reserve. Today we look back where questionable marketing choices were the norm. These vintage gems wouldn't survive today, but they sure make for an entertaining look at how far we've come. Let's dive into some ads so absurd you'll wonder how they ever made it to print. Meet Joe, your friendly flight attendant, here to ensure your journey is as smooth as her perfectly styled hair. Because nothing says safe travels quite like a personal invitation from a complete stranger. So sit back, relax, and remember, when you fly Joe, you're in good hands. Or so the ad suggests. Next, we encounter an era where being a man meant having a cigarette in hand. This Marlboro ad assures us that true masculinity comes with a tattooed hand and a confident puff, because apparently the key to surprising mildness and rugged charm is all wrapped up in one little cigarette. Ah, the simplicity of the past. Welcome to the 1930s, where winning a man's heart was easy, keeping him required soap. Lux toilet soap to be exact, because apparently the key to a lasting relationship was all in the lather. Just remember ladies, it's not just about winning, it's about keeping those pores in check. Meet the Mini Automatic. The car's so simple, even this ad thinks it can calm your driving nerves. With its straightforward design, it's perfect for those moments when just holding the wheel feels like an adventure, because clearly nothing says confident driver quite like sheer panic. And now we dive into the world of cutting edge technology for the 1970s. Here we have the Datacomp 404, a marvel of its time. And yes, that's a computer. But beneath that Telex keyboard lies the true power of computing, proof that even in the 70s, they were finding ways to make tech look intimidating. And now, let's revisit a time when public health campaigns were all about subtlety, or maybe not. This World War II era poster warns against a loose women who might be loaded, and not with charm, because apparently the best way to educate the public on venereal disease was through gun metaphors and fear tactics. After all, nothing says stay safe like a loaded warning. This ad presents a marketing strategy that's as subtle as a sledgehammer. Here's Drummond's bold pitch. Buy our sweaters or we'll bring back the male models because nothing sells knitwear quite like the not so subtle threat of less skin on display. After all, who wouldn't want to buy a sweater after seeing, well, not much of one. And now, we find ourselves in a 1950s living room, where a groundbreaking discovery has been made. It's Christmas morning, and nothing brings more joy to a woman's heart than receiving a vacuum cleaner. Because nothing says I love you quite like the gift of chores. With a hoover wrapped in a festive bow, she'll be truly thrilled to sweep through the holiday season. Here, we have Van Heusen bringing you shirts that promise to make you daring, audacious, and, well, apparently irresistible. With the bolder look, it seems these shirts do more than just fit. They guarantee dramatic encounters that would make even Hollywood jealous. So gentlemen, if you're looking for adventure, it might just start with your collar. Here's a 1950s plea. Please, let your wife come into the living room. Apparently, the only thing keeping her from family time is a mountain of dishes. But with the Hotpoint Automatic Dishwasher, she's finally free to join the rest of the family in front of the TV. Domestic bliss, courtesy of modern technology. Ever worry that your husband looks younger than you do? Don't fret, this ad has the solution. Introducing Dorothy Gray Selogen Cream, because nothing says marital bliss like battling the tragedy of aging. After all, in the race against wrinkles, it's important to stay ahead of your husband, or at least try. Van Heusen bringing you the latest in Oxford shirts, so irresistible that apparently four out of five men, including this pipe smoking gent and even a tribal figure, can't get enough of them. Because when it comes to fashion, it's important to appeal to, well, a very broad audience. And here we have a particularly awkward attempt at wartime fundraising. This poster suggests that despite cultural differences, patriotism knows no bounds. Or at least that's what the ad is trying to convey, rather clumsily. With phrases like, my skin is dark, but my heart is the white. It's a stark reminder that even the best intentions can be delivered in the most tone-deaf ways. Ah, the height of cigarette marketing, where a king-size pack of old golds demands not just your loyalty, but apparently a literal kneeling tribute. Because nothing says royal treatment, like crowning your smokes as the supreme ruler of your pocket. Just remember, in the kingdom of old gold, it's all about bowing to the king size. And here's a perfect cup of husband-pleasing coffee, because apparently a woman's ultimate joy comes from brewing the perfect pot. 
Just look at that contentment, because why aim for personal fulfillment when you can simply serve up a smile in a cup? After all, a happy husband is just one good brew away. We come to Silva Thins, where cigarettes are apparently just like women. The best ones are thin and rich. Because what better way to sell a product than by reducing both women and smokes to the same criteria? Light, rich, and oh so classy, this ad really puts the thin in thinly veiled stereotypes. Ever wondered what keeps doctors going through those long shifts? According to this ad, it's not coffee, but camel cigarettes. Because who better to trust with your health than a doctor who recommends a smoke for your T-zone? That's T for taste and T for throat, in case you were wondering. With more doctors smoking camels than any other brand, you know you're in questionable hands. Nothing says Merry Christmas like a family gathering around the tree, armed with an array of Daisy air rifles. Whether you're 7 or 17, Daisy promises to make it a Christmas to remember. Because what better way to celebrate the season than with a little target practice? Just be sure to keep an eye out for that Red Rider BB gun and your eye. According to this ad, beer will change the world. How? Well, that part's a bit hazy, but who needs details when you've got a frosty glass in hand? Whether it's world peace or just a good time, one thing's for sure, this guy's ready to toast to whatever change comes next. Here's a tip straight from the butter aficionados. Butter is slippery, so eat as much as possible to lubricate your arteries and veins. Because why worry about cholesterol when you can just slide through life? This ad really knows how to put the good in good for you. Or at least in the 1950s it did. And then there's this ad, where subtlety clearly wasn't on the agenda. On one side, we have the wife, comfortably tucked in with curlers and all. On the other, the mistress, offering up a reminder that sometimes you gotta cheat. Because apparently, nothing sells a product quite like a casual endorsement of infidelity. It's not just an ad, it's a masterclass in questionable marketing. Nothing says gourmet quite like a dollop of cheese whiz on your baked potato. This ad proudly declares that everyday potatoes taste special when you cheese whiz them. Just imagine transforming your dinner into a neon orange masterpiece with the magic of processed cheese spread. It's the culinary upgrade you never knew you needed. And then there's this questionable approach from the Rice Council of America asking the burning question, did you ever see a fat Chinese? Subtlety was clearly off the menu when they cooked up this ad. Apparently the secret to a svelte figure is a plate of rice, served with a side of cultural insensitivity. Switch from routine to rice, they say, because nothing promotes a product quite like a stereotype. Lastly, here's a wholesome scene. Mother and daughter bonding over their homegrown crop, ready to ensure they've got plenty to smoke this winter. Because nothing says family togetherness quite like a DIY approach to your own smoking supply. It's a different kind of green thumb, one that guarantees a cozy, smoke-filled winter season. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.